So tell me, what do you think about President Obama uh, speaking with um, President Rouhani? To make a diplomacy, it's a good way, not war, but a diplomacy. So I like, li like that. I think that we should give diplomacy a chance, but uh, everyone knows that diplomacy without armed force is in real diplomacy. Diplomacy is about the carrot and stick. And even a beginner politician like Obama um, should know that. I think he's being a traitor to his closest ally, Israel. And I think that he's not being honest with the United States government and with the people of the United States and the world. Not good. Not good. No. Iranian want a war. It's not good. He's giving legitimacy to a person who... The guy who speaks a week before says that Israel is a problem that they have to get rid of, right? And then you go and speak to that guy. Would you accept the fact that a different prime minister would go and befriend this guy? No. Don't believe it. It's forbidden for the people of Israel to believe this. In a matter of life or death of the people, there is no believing. We need to be tough and not say anything. We live with, among the Arabs and we know them already. They talk a, little, a lot, but they don't mean it. So I hope I'm mistaken, but I'm not sure. I don't know that he should be talking to him because the reality is that the Iranian guy is not going to give us quiet, peace a chance to sleep at night. I have to worry about my grandchildren. I have to worry about myself. Always uh, reasonable to speak with somebody before uh, acting uh, strongly. The question is, can we, uh, is there really a name speaking with those people, knowing that anyway uh, their, their final aim is to destroy Judaism and uh, Jewish people? I don't trust Iran. I don't think people that change overnight and I just, I don't trust them. I don't know, I mean, I think he's got to focus more on issues at home, yeah. you know, it's uh, pretty much it. I mean, I don't really think the U.S. should be involved in other countries so much. If something productive can come out from it, that would be fine if it encourages more delays than uh, Notwithstanding that we'll be in a lot of trouble here if they reach full development of a nuclear weapon, the United States will basically lose any presence in this part of the world as Saudi Arabia and all the surrounding nations move on to find them some, uh, some way to defend themselves from the largest menace in the region.